This is Spoken by Elswith, the Femdom Hypnosis Podcast, dedicated to making my perfectly submissive guy. Today is day 96, and before I get into talking about what I plan to talk about, I decided to give you a chance to do something nice for me, also known as my stupid kettle has died, (laughs) for an appliance that British people can seem unable to do without, like every house, every cabin, every Airbnb, every hotel room, let's say you're glamping and your yurt has electricity, it'll have a kettle in it. And they don't even do anything that fantastic, you just push the damn button. But I have (laughs) no idea, maybe mine, I don't know, maybe mine get tired of being used again and again by a non-British person. (laughs) Anyway, uh, there is a kettle on my uh, wish list, and I'll have the link to it. It's been on there a bit. I think I had a premonition that this day was going to arrive. (laughs) Uh, If you do plan to pick it up, let me know, uh, just so I don't end up with two kettles, though... Again, with my track record, that might just be fine, you know? Okay. (sighs) What did we plan to talk about today? Oh, yeah. There are two themes for the next four episodes of this podcast. One of the themes is chastity. Your relationship with it, your interest in it, even if the answer is, I'm not interested in chastity, that's fine. I'm going to be asking you a few questions about chastity and related subjects. And I'm going to make it easy for you to complete your task each day and answer those questions. The first one is actually just that. What's your interest in chastity? Orgasm, denial, control, etc. And you'll find it on the website page, blog post, whatever, (laughs) for this podcast episode. The other theme is a conversation. A somewhat silly conversation, and it's one that if we were sharing, I don't know, a conversation at a picnic table in the park, that you might have with me. Now it isn't a sexy conversation, it's a silly conversation, a friendly conversation, the kind of conversation that only occurs when you follow a rule of mine. And I'll tell you what that rule is tomorrow. So let's be sitting at the picnic table. I have one of those green bottles of sparkling water, blue label, Italian name uh, I forget. And who sings that song, dear? You know the one. It's like, uh, here comes the sun or something. And you say, well, what do you say? For the next few days, we're going to have this conversation. This back and forth. And I promise there's a point to all of this. When we work out the word I'm looking for, I promise you will get a reward. 